Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of One Problem Per Day Until My Interview, where I will introduce you to one interesting Olympiad level problem per day so you can book in your interview. In my last video, I posted a problem to sketch sine x to the power of x. If you haven't done it yet, try it now so you won't waste the problem. To sketch this, let's look at the framework. First step, find fixed point. The obvious choice is to consider what happens for x is 0 and for multiples of pi. For x is equal to 0, sine x to the power of x is 0 to the power of 0, which is 1. Let me know in the comments section if you want an explanation to why that is, or try figuring it out. For x is equal to positive multiples of pi, sine x to the power of x is equal to 0 to the power of a positive number, which is 0. For x is negative multiple of pi, sine x to the power of x is equal to the power of a negative number, which tends to infinity as you are dividing by 0. Now, step 2. Consider the input sine x to fp is equal to p to the power of x. We see that the input is negative for p between pi and 2 pi. So the function should be undefined in those regions as the domain for exponential function is strictly positive. We also know that for values between 0 and pi, p or sine x is between 0 and 1. Um, I'm going to refer to sine x as p from now on for convenience sake. So for positive x, p to the power of x is smaller or equal to p. The equality holds only when p is equal to 1. So the graph will be in these regions. Obviously, for x between 0 and 1, there is actually more detail and the function um, p to the power of x will actually be bigger than p. Um, for an explanation of why this is, check out my last video. For negative x, p to the power of x is larger or equal to p. It is easier to see if you consider p to the power of x is equal to this, where the base is larger than 1 and the power is positive. Again, equality holds when p is equal to 1. Therefore, the graph must be in these regions. By doing these two steps, we sort of covered step 3, 4 as well. Um, you can do step 5 if you want, but it's not strictly necessary. We are now ready to draw the graph. Notice as x increases, the peaks in a positive domain get sharper. Try explaining it. Now, your problem for today is this, from Jan Kauda's mechanics handout. It's very hard to get the right setup, but once you get the right setup, it's very easy to solve. And your math problem for today is to integrate this. Enjoy and see you tomorrow.